A more considerate lady would have soon despaired of her imprisonment, taken ill and died. I think she lives still merely to spite us all. Yet if she died, they blame us for her death. That be proof, of course. Rumors are harmless storms. Rumors never sank a ship. Proven guilt's what hangs a man. Or a woman. Let me be blunt, and be sure I speak with Queen Elizabeth's voice. When Mary Stuart was removed from the keeping of the Earl of Shrewsbury and given into yours, it was held that I would undertake this most odious of commissions faithfully and honorably. I hope that's what you were about to say. My reputation has no stain upon it, my lord. My loyalty and my duty have never been called in question. Your reputation would remain spotless. Let rumor of a wasting sickness prepare the world for Mary's death. Her death will follow when the world's expecting it. All memory of her will soon wither and die. And with it would wither and die my conscience. Surely, Sir Amis, you could not suppose that I, I was did asking you suppose to... it. Well, then you're wrong. We'd find some subtle stranger who... Will never come under my roof. I'll have none of your assassins in my house. No poisoners, no torturers of mind. To me, a prisoner's life is as sacred as my sovereign's. You hold the law in your hands, my lord. Yes, is that not enough? If she conspired against the queen, then give her justice. Justice. Judge her, condemn her, behead her. I'll welcome the carpenter that comes to build her scaffold, the sheriff who brings me her death warrant, and the headsman who brings the axe. But I'll shut my door against all others. I know my duty, sir. She'll do no evil while she's in my care. And no evil. None will ever be done to her.